let's talk about curvilinear motion now okay we have studied rectilinear motion earlier which was the motion along a straight line okay now we are going to study a motion which is along a curve okay so my particle is moving along this curve so we know my displacement is what my displacement is a straight line distance from a reference point okay so for me to define a displacement of my particle i need a reference point let us assume this is my reference point okay o is my reference point then this particular distance straight line distance defines the displacement of the particle at a time t okay if at time t my particle is at this distance from o then this distance is my displacement it is also known as position vector of this particular point okay i'm just going to write in over here that r vector we know displacement velocity and acceleration they all are vectors just like our force okay so your r which is displacement is also known as position vector because it defines the position of your particle okay so this is my position vector let us suppose i know the position vectors of this particle at different times okay so at time t it is over here let us say at time t plus delta t it is at this position okay so corresponding to this position i am also going to have a position vector okay let us say it is this one okay this is my position vector of this particular point or the position of particle at t plus delta t instant okay let me call this as r dash let me call this as r vector therefore what is this distance this would be let us suppose this is x okay so what you have is r dash plus x vector is equal to r dash vector okay my triangle law of vectors okay so my x vector is basically what my x vector is basically r dash vector minus r vector okay this is r dash which is basically my change in displacement okay this is displacement at instant t plus delta t this is displacement at instant t therefore this is change in displacement right therefore my x is delta r vector okay which is equal to r dash vector minus r dash okay so this is i am now going to say that this is delta r okay and my average velocity now is average velocity as we had seen earlier it is the change in displacement with respect to change in time okay so my average velocity in the instant delta t is going to be change in displacement which is delta r vector upon time right so this is my average velocity and therefore my instantaneous velocity would be given by the limiting conditions when delta t tends to zero okay so delta t tends to zero delta r upon delta t which is dr upon dt okay so this is my expression for instantaneous velocity of a particle which is moving along a curve okay as we said that my velocity is a vector therefore it must also have a direction right just look at this curve what is this curve this is a curve of r with respect to t right we are plotting various 